Hello viewers, hope everyone is staying safe. Anand here from Tech My Style with another exciting video. Have you ever tried using a Ryzen 4000 series processor in a consumer desktop motherboard? Most probably you haven't, at least most of you. Let's look at why it is not so straightforward like buying a Ryzen processor and pop it in a compatible motherboard. Ryzen 4000 series processors were introduced in March 2020, starting with their usual U-type mobile processor for budget tier laptops and H-type for the premium laptops. Later in July, they announced several processors for the desktop market. There were powerful 65W processors like 4650G and 4750G and low TDP 35W processors like 4650GE and 4750GE. They are excellent APUs to build a custom rig. AMD fans were so excited and waited for the launch to get their hands on them, but to their disappointment, 4000G and GE processors were only made available to OEMs which means you won't be able to buy one. Only PC manufacturers like HP and Dell can get their hands on them. As a result, desktop motherboard manufacturers will not provide support for such processors even though they fit perfectly. The 4000G and GE processors we talked about uses AM4 socket just like their consumer counterparts. You might be wondering why would anyone want to use these processors in a separate motherboard. The only way anyone can get these is through buying a pre-built PC and the last time I checked, they come with a motherboard in them. You're right. But consider scenarios like K-Swap, where you want to use the parts from a pre-built PC to make something awesome. Or the motherboard died and you want to use the processor elsewhere. Or someone selling the processor from a broken PC for a good deal. So now what? Is it dead end? Fortunately, no. Motherboards released right after the 4000 series desktop processors lack the support for them. But later, they started releasing BIOS updates to make them work with these processors. All you have to do is to make sure the motherboard you are picking supports your target processor. Also make sure you are on their latest BIOS. I have tried this with the Ryzen 5 4600G processor and MSI B450 Bazooka Max Wi-Fi motherboard. Before trying this, I went to the MSI website and looked into the motherboard specification for the supported processors list and made sure 4600G is one of them. I have kept the things I need for a boot test, which are MSI B450 motherboard, CPU cooler, power supply, a power switch, and the Erika 3 motherboard from where I'm taking the 4600G processor. I have removed the universal cooler brackets, removed the CPU cooler from Erika 3 and took the processor. Installed it in B450 motherboard and added the 8GB RAM modules. Connected the 24-pin motherboard power and 6-pin CPU power. Connected the CPU cooler fan and made the cooler sit on the processor. I didn't install the cooler all the way for the quick test. Then connected the power button and used the HDMI capture card to see the output from the motherboard as well recorded. Finally, connected a keyboard and pressed the power button. The motherboard didn't even bother spinning the CPU fan. There are nice debug lights on this motherboard and the CPU light was blinking. I know that was the time for BIOS update. Looks like the motherboard doesn't support 4600G out of the box. I went to the MSI site and downloaded the latest drivers and dropped them onto the root of a USB drive. I would also need a compatible processor for the BIOS update. I swapped the 4600G with the Ryzen 5 3400G and the board booted without any issues. I clicked on the M flash button and selected the BIOS file. It took a while for the BIOS to be updated. After it's done, I have again swapped the processor with 4600G and pressed the power button again. Boom, the CPU fan started spinning. Entered into BIOS options and it perfectly identified the processor as Ryzen 5 4600G and displayed its clock speed along with supported memory clock speeds. Hope this video helped and you enjoyed watching it. Please share your feedback by commenting or hitting the like or dislike button and don't forget to subscribe for more great content.